Selam alaikum, shalom, grüß Gott, bonjour, privet, privet, namaste and welcome to this video. And dobardan, of course, I forgot that. Now, I promised a lovely guy from the Ukraine to pronounce it um, in, for, for, in the Russian language once and in the Ukrainian language once. So I said privet and privet. So hello to Leo. I bought a bass trap from him, uh, a very good one in my opinion. And uh, he told me about this pronunci pronunciation thing. And um, yes, so in this video, I will talk about the differences of the Totem Acoustic Sky on the left and the Elak Vela 403 with the Jet 5 tweeter, the beautiful sounding Jet 5 tweeter on the right. The, the new one, the Jet 6 or the new Vela is a bit more analytical. So um, yeah, that's another story. Now, I will keep one of these two. And uh, after having listened to the Elac Vela for about two years now, I um, wanted to compare it to the bookshelf speaker from one of my favorite loudspeaker brands and not only one of my favorite, it is my favorite um, loudspeaker brand because of its tone and prat. I'm talking about the Totem Sky or Totem Acoustic in general, especially the uh, Totem Tribe Tower. That is a speaker that stumped me really uh, when I heard it in Munich. Now, <clears throat> I will try to make it short. If you want more bass, just in terms of quantity, it's the Elac Vela. If you want uh, a smoother sound, and, and um, long listening sessions without any kind of listening fatigue. It is the Elac Vela. If you want a more luxurious looking driver and speaker overall, in my opinion, it is the Elac Vela. The Totem Sky looks a bit like a DIY speaker. And the back, it's a bit special too with the Elac Vela, this down firing port and the Totem Sky with its classic standard base port on the back. Both have four binding posts for high frequencies for the for the tweeter and two for the woofer. Now that's it. These aspects uh, are, are better or just in my opinion, in my experience, um, sometimes just not, not better, but maybe just more, for example, the, the bass in terms of bass quantity. Now let's talk about sound quality. And um, again, in my opinion, the Totem Sky sounds better. Now, I know it is always hard to use that word better, but it is, it is my opinion, it is my taste. The, the Totem Sky, I will make a video um, on that one, so please watch that one to understand what I mean when I say Pratt. I will give you some sound demos um, with which the, the Totem really show what they can. Uh, the, the mid-range and the bass is quicker. It is more transparent than the, the Vela. The mid-range is more transparent uh, with the Totem Sky and the treble is a bit livelier. Now, uh, but not, not sharp, not even sharp. So the only tweeter I thought was was very spicy was uh, the one by Focal, the Aria 906. That wasn't harsh, it, that one wasn't harsh, but that was um, livelier or, or yeah, brighter 
spicier than this one by by totem i don't know if i said it in my last video i think the totem sky is the better uh, focal aria with with a better refined treble and more bass so the focal aria really didn't have bass it was a very light based so to say now um one more thing because i really love the experience of holographic imaging and that is something the totem sky give me and yes in this case i would say the center image so the singer uh, doesn't matter of uh, if if male or female is the center image is much better with the totem sky than with the elak vela so really much better i will show you what i mean now if both speakers one is on the left here the the totem sky is hidden where is my finger here the totem sky is hidden here um this is the amp i use right now the heat elixir this is my other amp unico primo this is something this is really something special i can tell you um this is extraordinarily good sounding i wish i wish and i will try another tube uh, for the preamp i wish it had a little bit less noise coming from the tweeter with this one this heat um is is that silent this is my cd player the project cd box ds3 really amazing i power it with the aku box um, above it and underneath this is the ds2 ultra and this converts the signal of my streamer the argon audio solo now let's go back to the uh, imaging thing the totem sky image much better especially when it comes to the center image so when i have both one one standing here and the other one standing here so i pull them away away from the wall in both cases no matter if i listen to the totem sky or the elak vela and the voice of the singer if it is recorded that way it comes really out of my amp and that is something i enjoy a lot because it has nothing to do with the speakers anymore i even and that is the the thing i like even when i open my eyes I think there must be a loudspeaker within my amp because the voice is coming from my amp, from the middle. Now, of course, when I put my amp to the right, it doesn't come from the right, it's still coming from the, uh, the middle. So uh, I think I don't have to mention that, but I uh, just wanted to say it is always the middle and that is something I really like. And instrument separation is better with the um totem sky and then the second most important thing for me next to holographic imaging and pratt or the the third thing not the third thing it is maybe the most important thing for me it is tone and the totem sky or totem speakers in general are tonally so natural so organic and and beautifully saturated I really enjoy that a lot because every instrument really sounds like this instrument. And um, I've worked for 15 years in, in theaters and, and, and uh, concert halls and so on. And I've heard so many live bands and so on. And this one, it really, may, and especially with the, with the Heat and the Unico Primo, this the totem sky sounds so natural it is amazing not only the instruments voices too so if you watch films and and hear voices of of humans or of animals it is it is so natural i really enjoy that to get the best out of uh, the bass performance of the of the totem sky in my in my room and with my gear i had to turn up the volume just a bit so if you only listen at low volumes, uh, you would sacrifice a little bit of um, bass 
performance, so in terms of quantity again, but um, yeah, that's I, I could say that's better with the Vela too. It is a bit bigger, just a little bit, a little bit bigger than the than the totem. Uh, the, yes, than the totem. And you know that's it, that's it. If I did forget something, as I often do, I will write it down in the comments. And um, if you have a question, please ask me. I answer within a few minutes or hours. And um, yeah, that's it. Have a nice day or night whenever you watch this. And don't judge gear by its review. If you have the chance, listen for yourself. I did. And from the first moment, I couldn't believe how much the Totem Sky appealed to my taste. Thank you and bye-bye.